14 billion years ago, and we have no idea what happened before it. The farthest human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is now in interstellar space. Voyager turned its camera back towards Earth, taking what can be considered Earth's first selfie. In that picture, we saw these pale blue dots. Over 45 years, Voyager 1 has been on an incredible journey through the cosmos, giving us valuable knowledge and insights. Every new discovery it revealed seemed unlikely at first, but was later confirmed by scientists who carefully analyzed the collected data. Now there's another interesting piece of information. Neil deGrasse Tyson confirmed that Voyager 1 has detected around 500 objects moving through the vastness of space. This discovery has significant implications, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of space exploration. So let's delve into this Voyager 1 finding and explore how it might change our long-held perspectives on exploring the universe. In a significant moment in history, two impressive spacecraft took off into space marking the start of the space exploration era. It was 1965, and Gary Flandro, a sharp mind at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, faced a massive challenge. Finding the most efficient path for a space probe to reach the distant gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Armed with just a pencil, a favored precision tool of engineers in the 20th century, Flandro made a surprising discovery. He realized that in the late 1970s and early 1980s, these four massive planets would align in a cosmic dance, forming a celestial necklace with Earth. This rare event meant that a spacecraft passing by each planet could use their gravitational pull as a speed boost, like being propelled by an invisible force. Flandro's calculations showed that a journey from Earth to Neptune, which would have taken 30 years, could now be done in just 12 years, thanks to these gravity assists. However, there was a catch. This alignment only happened once every 176 years. Not wanting to miss such an exceptional opportunity, NASA acted quickly. Within a short span of 15 days, they launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, in the summer of 1977, aiming to take full advantage of this cosmic alignment. Little did they know that these sibling explorers would break all records in the history of space missions. Over 45 years later, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still going strong, sending back groundbreaking data from the far reaches of our solar system every day. Despite their age, these spacecraft are in pretty good shape and continue to function smoothly. However, recently, scientists have been puzzled by unexpected behavior from Voyager 1. To give you some context, Voyager 1 is currently more than 14.5 billion miles away from Earth, zipping through space at 38,250 miles per hour. This is quite impressive for a spacecraft that's been exploring space for such a long time. The discovery of mysterious objects by Voyager 1 adds an extra layer of interest. The spacecraft has spotted around 500 unidentified objects in space, things we haven't seen or classified before, providing entirely new information that caught everyone off guard. One possibility to consider is that the spacecraft's aging systems might be showing signs of wear. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, making its circuitry about 45 years old. It would make sense if the computers weren't working as efficiently anymore. However, so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. One reason for the spacecraft's lasting durability is having dual redundant computer systems. Each Voyager spacecraft had two sets of command computer subsystems, flight, data, subsystems, and altitude and articulation control subsystems. This redundancy ensures smooth transitions between systems and the ability to activate dormant computer components, extending their lifespan for optimal efficiency. Voyager's instruments were designed with hardware at logic due to power and development constraints. Electrical engineers simplified the spacecraft's systems using hardwired logic. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 had a distributed system with six onboard computers in three dual redundant pairs. To keep Voyager 1's computer systems running, 
ongoing power management is crucial due to limited power resources. Engineers have implemented measures to conserve and optimize power, including selectively powering down non-essential systems. They identify and deactivate components not crucial for the primary mission objectives, such as switching off heaters associated with certain science instruments. Originally designed to maintain optimal temperatures, deactivating these heaters significantly reduces power consumption, extending the spacecraft's overall lifespan. It's essential to acknowledge the meticulous efforts scientists put into ensuring the spacecraft's functionality. The longevity of Voyager is a result of dedicated work and skill rather than random luck. However, unexpected events can still occur in open space, given its inherently unpredictable nature. While Voyager 1 was expected to encounter meteoroids, asteroids and space rocks, the detection of around 500 objects caught everyone off guard, sparking significant concern. Researchers on the project considered this occurrence an anomaly since the signals were unexpected and there's still no explanation for this phenomenon. Voyager 1 started beaming mysterious telemetry back to Earth and despite the odd readings, the spacecraft remained responsive to Mission Control's commands, although with slight communication delays. Currently, NASA scientists are actively working to understand the nature of these objects encountered in interstellar space. And there's more to the story. A similar incident happened with Voyager 1 last year, leading the probe to send mysterious data back to Earth. Despite the puzzling data, Voyager 1 seemed to be functioning normally, diligently collecting and transmitting information. What adds to the intrigue of this anomaly is that it didn't trigger any onboard fault protection systems. Typically, these systems activate when anomalies are detected, putting the spacecraft in a safe mode for engineers to investigate. However, in this case, Voyager 1 carried on with its operations, bypassing safe mode and making the mystery even deeper. After a thorough investigation, the issue was traced back to the Altitude and Articulation Control subsystem. This system is responsible for precisely positioning the spacecraft and controlling its movements. The problem stemmed from the AACS sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that had stopped working years ago. This outdated computer, not supposed to be part of data processing, somehow got involved in the telemetry transmission, leading to data corruption sent back to Earth. However, the reason for this unexpected behavior remains unclear. To fix the problem, the mission instructed the AACS to redirect telemetry data to the proper operational computer. This solution was considered low risk and was successfully implemented. One significant challenge faced by the mission team during the anomaly. Investigation was the considerable time delay in communication due to the vast distance between the spacecraft and Earth. Radio signals take a considerable amount of time to travel. So, when the NASA mission team sends a command to Voyager 1 from NASA's Deep Space Network, it travels as a radio signal at the speed of light. The Deep Space Network is a vast network of large radio antennas strategically placed worldwide. It allows NASA to establish communication links with spacecraft exploring the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. The primary purpose is to enable two-way communication between Earth and deep space missions and conduct radar and radio astronomy observations to deepen our understanding of the universe. Traveling through space poses tough challenges for spacecraft like Voyager 1. In this vast expanse, they encounter cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures and micrometeoroids, all of which can potentially harm the sensitive electronic systems on board. Cosmic radiation, consisting of energetic particles from distant stars, fills the space between galaxies. These particles, like protons and cosmic rays, can penetrate spacecraft structures, causing interference with electronic components. The powerful radiation may cause electrical disruptions, store data signals, and even lead to memory errors or data corruption. This means that the onboard computers of Voyager 1 could be impacted by cosmic radiation, causing confusion and the transmission of incorrect data. Beyond cosmic radiation, dealing with extreme temperatures is another big challenge for spacecraft in the vacuum of space. 
Voyager 1, situated in the outer solar system, faces freezing conditions with temperatures dropping as low as minus 202 degrees Fahrenheit. Such drastic temperature changes can hinder the performance of electronic components, causing unexpected behaviors or errors during data transmission. Additionally, the presence of tiny space debris, like micrometeoroids, adds to the challenges faced by spacecraft. These small dust particles or fragments from comets and asteroids travel at high speeds and can pose a threat upon impact. Despite their size, even a minor collision with a delicate electronic component can disrupt its function or cause interference in data transmission. Looking ahead, the future path of the Voyager spacecraft holds interesting possibilities. If all goes according to plan, scientists might extend their missions until 2030. The crucial factor for their continued operation is power. Despite the challenges, the Voyagers will persist in moving forward undeterred. In an incredible time frame of 16,700 years, Voyager 1 is expected to pass by Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighboring star. Voyager 2 will follow suit 3,600 years later. Beyond that, they will continue their journey through the galaxy for millions of years, outlasting our fading sun and the eventual dissipation of the heliosphere. These sturdy spacecraft will likely remain mostly intact, in contrast to the fate of our delicate blue planet. It's even possible that they might convey a final message during their enduring journey. However, if such a message is transmitted, it won't be through radio and it won't be sent by humans. The ongoing story of the Voyagers reflects human exploration and scientific curiosity, defying the limits of time and space. As for the mysterious objects detected by Voyager 1, opinions may differ. Some might see it as a system glitch, while others may speculate about the possibility of alien contact. Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives on this matter in the comments section below. Click the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos in the future.